Okay, we are here today to complete assembling the three axis gimbal from Kane TV. That is, uh, you can access more information and how to purchase this at uh, www.came-tv.com. Uh, this video will uh, deal with how to connect the control panel control board and all the wiring that goes throughout the gimbal. So this is what we will focus on today. Okay, so as you can see we have the assembled gimbal. Um, the first thing we will do <coughs> is talk about the uh, location of the, the panel, uh, control panel, which will be right back in this area here. We will attach it to the top two poles, and so I'll show you more about that in a minute. <coughs> you can see here, in your box that you have received the gimbal parts in, you have the control panel, which is two pieces. They will go together in a minute, and then you will have a sensor, which will go on top of the uh, mounting bracket for the, for the camera. Um, these are other parts and connectors. And then we also have uh, four wires. I will move this out of the way. We have four wires. The, there are four wires. Three of them, one, one, two, three, have three wires. Those will control the yaw, roll, and pitch of the uh, gimbal. The other one is a connector. The wire has four wires. It will have four wires. And it will connect from the control board to the sensor. The sensor is sensing the stability and horizontality of the, uh, of the gimbal, I mean of the camera. So remember those four parts. Uh, because they will thread, the wires will thread from the, from the control board in the back through the armature and the tubes to the individual motors that control yaw and pitch and roll. This one controls pitch. Uh, this one back here will control uh, roll. And then this one here, this motor up here will control yaw. Um, because they will, the wires will travel through here to get to the, the connector for the sensor, each wire is a little bit different in length. You can see that the shorter one, which will go to the closest motor, uh, will already come pre-assembled with all the wires inside of the connectors. And you can see that the connectors have an exposed side and a covered side. So uh, this is the shorter, shorter wire. It goes to the shortest distance to, from the control panel to the uh, motor, which is nearest it. The next longest one will be this one, and you'll see that it has this, they all have, the, with the three wires, have the same connector. You can see the back is here where you can see the, the, the wires connected. The front is the one with the cover. You do not see the wires. Um, three of these wires, not the shorter one, but the other three wires will come like this, and the wires will be uh, separated. You will then also in your box receive a connector. When um, they come this way, because you can you can close this up and feed it, th uh, feed that through. It's easier to feed this through the apparatus to get out, and then once you have it out, you can connect connect this together, and then you can plug this into the uh, motor. The so there are three wires that will be like that and you'll have to, after you feed the wires through the armature, uh, let's begin by assembling everything. I'll do this so you can see this as best I can. I may have to turn it a couple of times. To connect it, there will be spacers that will hold it away from the uh, gimbal itself and the armature. And then we will use the larger screws 
and we will also use the silver color screws on the back. This will screw into one side, this will screw into the other side. So I will show you how to do that now. When you're placing this, the uh, uh, control panel onto the armature of the gimbal, um, you will look for the large circuit here. This will be on your left. It will go like this. The controls for yaw, pitch, and roll are pointing to the left. I like to attach these to the armature first, so you'll take out the silver screw and attach these first. See that these create a post that will sit, allow the um, control panel to be placed away from the metal on the uh, on the gimbal. <coughs> tight will be sufficient. Now I'm going to place the control panel onto here and I will use <coughs> I'll use the larger of our black screws that come with the, the set. Best thing is to connect one corner first. That would be natural. And that will put one in place and keep the board in place while you're connecting the other screws. This one might be the most difficult here because it's the pins are sticking up very high from it. I recommend using one of the tools, the hex tools, to help you put it in place. And the other two are pretty easy to install because the uh, pins are not as close. They are still very close and be very careful into it in attaching these. Now the board is secure to the gimbal. Now let's take the other part of the control panel, control board. Once again, you're looking for the seven pin receiver. You see the seven pin, seven pins on the bottom. You attach it by sliding it over till it is snug. And that will be in place. The um, next part will be to attach the sensor, sensor pen board, which will be this board here, this board. You will place it, you can see that um, I have the, the, the control panel, control board facing me. So when you put place this on here, the pins will point to 
uh, the left as you're looking at it from assembling it. You will also use the black screws too to as as attach this. You see there are two holes here, two holes here. See here now the, uh, the sensor uh, board is attached and secure. Okay, now uh, we will con make the connections for the uh, cables from the con control board to the uh, uh, motors. And of course, this first one on the bottom will use the shortest wire because it's going the, the shortest distance. This is for roll. And you will see on the back of the control panel that roll is the one, the three pins at the top. So you'll take it and you will connect this direction, the one that does not have the windows on it. The opposite side will face towards you as you assemble this. So that will slide on like this. And then you'll need to connect the same way. The outside face will go inside the motor. So if I assemble this, you'll see. You'll see the side without windows, the cover is attached here. So this one is attached, that motor is connected. Now we will go to the, the next um, motor. You take the next length of, and this one will be for, um, see, this one will be the next one. This will be for pitch. And so, for pitch, you do the same thing. You look for the side that has the cover. You look for the pitch, which is the middle three pins. You connect the middle three pins by sliding the connector on. Of course, this will all be in here and come to this motor you see the connector on the bottom here and so same thing on the outside facing out you will have the blank side or cover of the connector and you'll slide that together and that is secure so we only have one more connector to put together. That will be this motor up here. And that will be our next, the longest line. And this too will have been fed through the whole armature coming down and coming out. Uh, so I will attach that. Same thing, the outside face well, the covered side will face towards you as you assemble this. Be careful that you will run this to this motor here. It will be running up through here. The wire will come out here and connect to the motors. You can see the pins right here. Once again, the, it will be face up. The cover will be face up and if you look inside you'll be able to see the pins and slide that over the pins. If uh, there is a hole in the top, if the pins are not lined up very well, you can, with a tool, very lightly push these pins down and it will help it to slide on easier. So now all the motors are connected. We need to connect our 
um, sensor to the control panel. So you'll see on the front, you see our sensor here with the four, four pins. You also have on the back, on the control panel, you'll see four pins here on the right side. So you'll connect. This one's the only different one. You take the side that has the windows facing out, it will face away from the panel. So that is connected there. This will also be fed through the armature, actually down through the armature here, and will come out. It will come out here and you will connect it over. Okay? So this is the connection of all, all the connections of all the panels. We have one thing left. We have one thing left, and that is the battery. So you'll have your battery pack here, and on the panel, this battery packed pack can be taped to the bottom of this arm right here. So that will leave this exposed for you to make the connection to the power for the uh, unit. You will have two wires like this is the connector to, this is the connecting wires to the control panel you'll see on here there are two wires here and uh, two holes this is where these wires will connect to remember is that the one on the right is the one that has the red connection that will be your positive connection for power, so that will come to here. And then the black is your neutral, it will go to the one on the left. And that will be connected there. So you will end up with a panel that looks like this, actually oriented like this, with the red on the right, which is your positive feed, and the black, which is your neutral. Or, and on the panel itself, very small, you will see a plus sign. You'll see a positive plus sign to give you the idea that that's where the, the red wire will go connect to. Uh, I recommend that uh, you contact the uh, website. You're probably looking at it right now at www.came-tv.com.